Hello guys, fans, Sonic here, and today's video we're gonna be reading a creepy post about Super Mario 64's beta from July 29th, 1995. So there's all been these rumors online that this that this beta is some haunt haunted by some kind of spirit, and like every copy of this game is personalized. The warrior version is like, like is believed to be real, but yeah. So anyways, if you really want to get to read the creepy post for yourself, I leave a link in the description so you can do that as well. So let's go! Beginning. I was a game tester for Nintendo back in the 80s and 90s. I tried Super Mario Bros. 3 back for the NES. I got paid at least $100 a week. I even tried Super Mario World 42 for the SNES. Actually, the game is called the Yoshi's Island and the Super Mario World 2 tag is that was actually just added just so it gets more sales it doesn't have to do anything with Mario World um, like outside of the fact that it's Yoshi and Mario up here but this year I received a new console that was the ever been introduced yet it was called the Ultra 64 yeah the Nintendo 64 early design it has an early name I, I wish it was like a remake like this it also came with the game called Super Mario 64! You all know it! You all know it! What game is it? You know, the personalized thingy? Yeah. On the cartridge, it said July 29th, 1995. You know, the B1. <coughs> <coughs> it was three days before August. I was so excited to be the first one to see the graphics of the Ultra 64. It was called that before before it was called the Nintendo 64. Oh, he actually mentioned it. That's so nice. I put the cartridge in and the game started. The castle and the eel. All right, let's go. I went to the title screen. I was the first one to hear Charles Martinet in a real video game. Actually, the 1995 July 20, uh, July 7th. 1999 um, actually it's uh, it's actually it actually contains a diff it doesn't contain like the Charles Martinet voice it actually just features some kind of like the the uh, some placeholder sound effects from the Warner's library of Mel Blanc yeah yeah, that's uh, that's what it is. Go check out the video. Like I put, I'll put a random video in the description showing off like the uncompressed uh, Mario 64 beta voices. So let's. Uh, so yeah, Mario's head popped out and yelled, "Yeah!" I pressed start and went straight to the game. The design was so cool. I went to Princess Toadstool Castle. Something dark and mysterious happened at this moment. This, the music was scary and unsettling. I was freaked out by this. I went into all of the paintings. The white screen said, "Mori Eel Feeding Time." Yeah. Is this is this turning into some kind of weird meme or is this creepypasta just like some kind of turning? Me or something. Uh, I was disturbed, but I pressed start. Mario was trapped in a cage inside of the ocean. A, a big eel came out and tried to eat him. I was scared at this moment because the eel looked terrifying. Mario was drowning and the eel disappeared. It had the Bowser left, but even scarier, Mario was kicked out of the painting. Wow, that's so scary! Just getting kicked out of a painting in Mario 64? Oh my god, I gotta have nightmares for life! The picture changed into a depressed Luigi from Luigi's Mansion. Even though Luigi's Mansion or depressed Luigi didn't exist in 1995. Of course they didn't change. Is this some kind, is this some kind of leak? 
uh, some secretly created by Nintendo? Maybe. I was exiting the room. The castle, the music was even, even more scarier. I went to the next room. The star statue is the next part of the story. I went through a different door, this time, and it led me to a long hallway and a stairway. The stairway went down to a double door at the bottom of the hall, went to a door at the end of the room. Kind of confusing if you ask me. I went through that smaller door and it led me to a garden area I found with the statue in the middle. After I approached the fountain, the sky turned red and the, and the words, El is real! 2401! Started flashing on my screen with disturbing music. Then the screen went black and popped up to show Luigi face down in the water floating lifelessly. I freaked out after that. I, I went, lo took the door again and ran through the hallway downstairs. Wait, in the real life or in the game? Probably in the game. Yeah. And through the double door at the bottom and I proceeded to the next room. Next up is your favorite moment. The Wario Emulation. I saw a standard blue painting and went closer to it. Then I saw Wario's head and it said, You want fun? Wario, show you fun. I was running from Wario and he went closer. The closer he got, the more knocking there was on the speakers. When Wario was about to hit Mario, the screen went black with Mario doing a blood curling scream. <laughs> Mario woke up and I saw Luigi crawling. He saw in Tony Rosaro's voice, what the heck? Come crawl with us, Mario. Mario ran until he eventually saw Wario again. There was many crawling spider Luigi's everywhere. I was so traumatized by this. Wario yelled, Luigi's attack! 69 spider Luigi's were chasing me until they knocked Mario down. The screen went interruptly black and Wario did the most scariest laugh I've ever heard. It showed a cutscene of Wario eating Mario in one bite. Then it showed the game over but the little Luigi depressed the face. Then Luigi looked at me and said, Mario is gone forever because of the because of Mario. Then it showed the cutscene of saw of him sobbing for 30 seconds. Wario came up and ate him in one gulping bite. The Ultra 64 turned off and so did the TV. I sat in my room in the dark with only light one light bulb. Then he pow the power went off. I went to my bed and went to sleep. Aftermath. This is the final part of the story. I shipped the game and called back to Nintendo in July 3rd. They sent me a letter in August 2nd. They said, Dear Dave Withheld, we apologize for all this. The wire your head and the spider Luigi's and all that. We will make sure it never happens again from Nintendo of America. Actually, the 1995 build of Super Mario 64 was only shown as Shoshinkai 1995 of Space World, it's, which is in Japan. Uh, I'm pretty sure Nintendo of America didn't show this until like, almost like, the close beta to like, the, the, like 1996, I don't know. Maybe it did, I don't know. I quit the job in 2000, now I'm safe with all the games. Note, there has been a rumor about personalized copies of Super Mario 64 with the Wario head. This is only a creepypasta. It didn't really happen. See you later. Wait, so you mean this whole thing is fake? This whole thing was just a waste of time? I just read just this for no reason just because you heard this topic in right now <laughs> well 
that was the Super Mario 64 uh, beta from 1995 story. It was after all just turned out to be a small joke. Uh, this didn't really happen, so I guess we'll just, uh, yeah, we'll just, we'll just end the video right now because uh, I can't believe this. So that's why I'm just gonna end the video right now. Bye.